Hello, my name is Candace Clark and today I'd like to talk to you about an app that will help you create student electronic portfolios. The app is Easy Portfolio by PE Geeks. You can get this for your iPad, your iPhone, or an Android. It's relatively inexpensive and does a lot of neat stuff. Okay, so once you've gotten Easy Portfolio, you're going to open it up and the first screen you get to looks like a black leather-bound notebook, like a portfolio. And you'll notice in the upper left-hand corner there is a plus. You're going to select that and you can decide whether you want to start your portfolios here or if you'd like to organize them by group. So let's say we're going to organize by group and we're going to say first period. So all our kids in first period will come under this group. So once you've named it, you're going to select first period. And then there'll be another plus in the right hand corner where you can start adding individual portfolios. So let's say we're going to add one of our students. Let's say Adam. Now you can decide how you want to name your portfolios. This app is really easy to use. Um, your students would be able to use this as well, so you could perhaps let them decide what their portfolios would be called. So now we have Adam's portfolio added to our group first period. I'm going to select Adam because we're ready to add an artifact. You'll notice when it opens, you have several choices. You have videos, images, audios, notes, URLs, and documents. Let's say the first thing we want to do is add an image. So let's press the plus at the bottom. It says plus record. It's going to give you a choice here. If you select add image, it's going to again ask you which group you want to work with and which student. You'll notice it's come up, it's under one of my other groups. So we're going to go back. We're going to select first period because we want to add to Adams. Once you've selected Adam, and say done and now you'll get a screen that says select action so if you touch select action you have a couple of choices you can take an image with your camera here let's say you have a piece of art or something he's worked on and you're going to take a picture right now with the iPad you can do that here or if you've already done that you can select from library and it's going to go to your camera roll or your photo stream and then you can select that and select a photo. I'm just going to pick this one. Let's say he had done a little project on his favorite pet. So we're going to add this picture. Now before we're done completely you want to make sure you touch save in the upper right hand corner so that it does save it to Adams. Alright let's say we wanted to add a note. Once again, once you select Add Note, it's going to ask you who do you want to work with. Now let's say you want to work with another class. You're going to click back. And let's say, let's go into my students. Let's say I want to help Stephen. I'm going to add Stephen a note. Oh, I unselected him. All right. It's going to open up onto this page. When you touch the screen, you have the keyboard. Now either this is a place for you to add something you want to make note of, perhaps you want to put scores in here for something, or indicate a recent um, assessment you've done, or the student themselves could add something in here. Perhaps you want them to type something in here or reflect on a piece that they have entered. Once you've added something, I'm just going to say just a note here. Once you've typed in here, you'll want to hit the save button again so you don't lose it. And you'll go back to select. Now, at any time, you can touch the portfolios at the bottom. It looks like a little file cabinet drawer. You can click that, and that takes you back as well. Let's say you're going to go into student portfolios, and I'm going to show you Coopers you'll notice we've got images in there. Videos work much the same way. If you select video, you'll notice there's a video in Coopers. If you select video, 
It will also allow you to take the video now with the iPad, or you can select a video you've already pre-recorded in your library. Same thing for um, audios. You can select audio, and if you go to add that record, it has a screen that will allow you to touch a button. You can record right there and add that. URL, of course, is just adding if, like, let's say the child has created a web page or something that they'd like to save. And what's interesting is if you go to Add Document, let's say we're going to add a document to his. The way you add a document is from Dropbox. Now, there's nothing to say you couldn't take a picture of a paper they've worked on or something, but if they have a pretty lengthy assignment, something larger that you wouldn't be able to just take pictures of, you can upload to Dropbox, have the student upload to Dropbox, and then you can access it from here. You can ac access Dropbox. Let's say I want to add Why Kittens Rock Socks. I'm going to click Download. And then once it's downloaded, you're going to say close, close out of my Dropbox. And again, you want to save so that you make sure you have that. Something that's great about this too, I think, is let's say, let's look at Bobby's. We've got several things in Bobby's. We've got a video, we've got some images, we've got notes. And we've got a document in there. Let's say we want to export that. Let's say we're going to export his PowerPoint that he worked on. So you're going to select the document, you're going to export, and you're going to say done. Now it's going to allow you to export to Dropbox. Let's say you want to put that up on Dropbox so someone can access it or they want to work on it. You could also export this to Google Drive, which you can link to yours. And then you could email it out to parents. There it goes. And now it's up on Google Drive. That way you can kind of keep in communication with what's going on um, to the parents, to the student themselves too. All right, let's go back to the beginning. Let's look at this one. <clears throat> Another selection is you can sort by alphabetical um, selections. You can sort by date of when they were submitted. You'll see it started at the most recent and went back to the oldest piece. That would be a great way to kind of work your way through and see student progress and see if they've made improvements in various areas. It really is a pretty easy app to use. And for $1.99, I think it's a good purchase. Um,